Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this quick tutorial, we are going to use the post-processing package to change the look of our game. Basically, we will apply some cool effects to it and we will change it from this to this. Now the game looks better with these effects. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. That helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So first of all, we have to install the post-processing package from the package manager. So to open up the package manager, you have to go to window, then package manager. Make sure to select a Unity registry from the packages. Then let's search for post-processing. And it is this one by Unity Technologies. And I'm using the version 3.2.2 which is the newer version, make sure to select it, then hit install. And that's how we can install a package from the package manager. And once it's done, let's close this window. Now to apply some post-processing effects to the game, we have to attach some post-processing layer component. You could create an empty game object and add it to it. But I think adding this uh, layer to the main camera is better because the camera is uh, rendering our scene. So select the main camera, then add component. And if you search for post processing, you see that we have post processing or post process layer. Let's select it. And it is this component. Now the next step is to select the layer. So we want to apply the post processing effects to an object in our scene. And most of the effects are applied to the main camera because it's rendering the scene. So we have to attach or add some kind of layer to our main camera. So select it. Then on top, we have this layer property. It is default by default. Let's add a new one using add layer. Then we can call it whatever you want, post processing. And once you do that, we have to assign it to the main camera by selecting the main camera object. And from this drop menu, let's select post processing. Then we have to tell this component that we want to apply the effects to the post-processing layer, which is our main camera. Of course, you could add these effects to the player. Now the next step is to add the post-process volume component using add component. And we have this option, post-process volume. Make sure that is global is selected. We want to apply the effects to the global world or the global scene. You could adjust the weight of these effects. I'm going to set it to 1 by default. Then we have to create some kind of profile or post-process profile component by clicking this new button. And that will add this object under our assets. And you could add as many profiles as you want. I have this one. I'm going to get rid of it, which I have used it to test the post-processing effects. We only need this one. Then you will see that we have this add effect option. And I think you guess it. We have to click on this add effect unity. And here we have few effects that you can use to change the visual of your game. And I'm going to start with the bloom. And I really like it. By default, these effects are disabled. Let's select all to enable all of them. The intensity is zero. Let's try to adjust it. You could even play the game to see the final result. And this is the bloom effect. I'm going to change the intensity uh, to 1. And adjust the threshold like 0.8. So try to tweak these values until you get the best results. And I think that's fine. You could also change the color to blue color for example. Finally, I highly recommend you to disable the features that you don't use like the texture, intensity, maybe whether we have a fast mode or not. So make sure to disable the things that you don't use to optimize the game. And you see that the values are saved. You don't have to copy it and paste it. Next, let's add another effect using add effect, Unity. 
and they want to add vignette which will add some kind of uh, black edges to these corners anyways let's enable it to see the result and change the intensity to a certain value you see the effect so this is called vignette you could make it rounded but i'm gonna uncheck this option i don't want that then let's move to another effect using add effect unity and the next one that i want to use is the color grading here you could change some settings about the visual of the game like the post exposure the hue shift saturation the contrast and so on i'm going to enable all of these for now i'm going to change the mode to low to optimize the game and let's try by adjusting the saturation or maybe the contrast the brightness i'm going to hit play then let's uh, increase the contrast i think 8 is okay i think it's a little bit dark i'm going to change the brightness to 1 or maybe 5 i always like to increase the saturation like 15 you could adjust the other settings but i will disable these and the final thing that i want to add is the depth of field let's enable all i'm gonna leave the default settings and let's hit play and there you go now the game looks better so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next one.